So keep an eye on the bottom of your screen for notices about parking bans and schools that will be dismissing students early today. A lot of after school activities already been canceled in a lot of cities and towns. You can find that information on WPRI.com. The trucks with the salt getting ready. 65,000 tons of salt available for roads in Rhode Island. Dana Casulo live right now. And they don't need the salt right now because it's just a lot of rain out there in the capital city, Dana. That's right, Patrick. There's a lot of rain out here and I want to show you all this rain. My photographer is going to pan down so you can see I'm standing in a big puddle. We're in a parking lot in Providence. There's also these puddles on the sides of the road. So when you get out there, make sure you're taking it slow and giving yourself some extra time this morning. Now the McKee administration is providing updates and tips reminding Rhode Islanders how to stay safe. Take a look at those. So it's really important to never drive through a flooded roadway, just like we said reduce speed most of the crashes and disabled vehicles they see during winter storms involve people driving too fast for the conditions provide plenty of stopping distance in front of you and avoid distractions don't text put that cell phone away now we don't expect to see that snow until late morning but crews are preparing once that rain turns into snow ride out will have 150 state trucks and more than 250 vendor trucks ready stocked with 65,000 tons of salt for the roads. RIDOT will also have crews ready to deal with any fallen limbs or trees blocking roads and has access to vendor tree crews to assist. The Department of Housing has communicated with shelter providers and warming centers about the storm and has requested that they implement emergency shelter plans. And just like we said, make sure you're taking it slow when you're out on those roads. There's lots and lots of puddles out here. And if you're on the highway, the safest place to drive is actually behind a plow truck. Live in Providence, Dana Casulo, 12 News. Just not too close to it, of course. All right, another potential impact from the storm power outages. Crews getting ready for that possibility. Stephen Montregrano, meteorologist live in North Smithfield with that part of our coverage this morning. Steve. Yeah, Patrick, good morning. We are still tracking the chilly rain and gusty winds, but as the rain falls heavy at times, the winds do pick up. So it's a nasty morning out there. We are expecting that this rain changes to a heavy wet snow, as Michelle has been saying all morning long. And the problem is for those power crews is that it won't take a lot of this snow to start causing some power outages across the state. Now, of course, the further north and west that you go is the best chance of seeing that heavy wet snow and those power outages. But the entire state is at risk as those gusty winds do pick up as we go through later on today. And uh, here's what Rhode Island Energy is saying as they prepare for the storm. Obviously, the northwest portion, which could get that heavy wet stuff, is a concern. But then, you know, the coastal areas might see the higher winds. So uh, we're going to have them all across the state and, uh, you know, be ready to respond where we need to. And again, so we're seeing those uh, rain right now, the chilly rain with the wind as well for today. But this is all expected to transition to a plain snow later on. A heavy, wet snow, temperatures right around freezing. So it's that uh, pasty kind of snow, the kind that's heavy to shovel and move around. And of course, it weighs down those power lines and those tree limbs. So we'll be keeping an eye on those power outage threats as we go into later on today and into tonight. Live in North Smithfield, I'm 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matragrano. All right, thanks, Steve. Thanks, Dana. Right now on WPRI.com, you can find all the resources you need to stay storm ready. There you can find interactive radar, a list of closings, delays, numbers on how to report any power outages, and a link to our flight tracker to see if your travel will be impacted. It's all on our website, WPRI.com. Stay with 12 News. We continue to track the storm. You can check the forecast anytime on our weather app. Michelle will have her full forecast in about seven minutes. Tony's in tonight starting at 4 o'clock over on Channel 12 with more coverage of the Nor'easter.